Welcome back to another Read Aloud through Machine Fitness Foundation's Health Through Literacy. And this week, we're going to be reading a book called Wash Your Hands, written by Margaret McNamara, illustrated by Mike Gordon. But of course, like all the other weeks, I have a few questions for you before we get started. So my first question for you is, by looking at this cover, what do you think this book is about? Or what can you tell me about the book? Okay, so yeah, so it looks like there's a teacher and some students. Okay, what else? Yeah, okay, so it looks like they've got some paper towel and water and soap. What can you think about that? What would you need those three things for? To wash your hands, right. Okay, so when do you guys think you need to wash your hands? Good, yes, before you eat. Good, what else? After playing outside, definitely. Does anybody have another idea? Yeah, maybe after touching a pet. Good, when else? Yeah, maybe after like blowing your nose or using the restroom. There's a lot of times that we could wash our hands, right? To get rid of those germs. Okay, two more questions for you. Why do you guys think we need to wash our hands? Why is, why is it important? Yeah, good. It keeps our hands clean. It gets rid of germs and dirt. That's correct. All right, my last question for you is how long do you think you need to wash your hands for? 10 hours? Wow, that would be a long time to wash your hands. Not quite. Try guessing again. Any other guesses? Two minutes? Okay, you're getting a little bit closer, but that's still a long time. Can you think of any other number you might wanna wash your hands for? Yes, good job, 20 seconds. So we wanna wash our hands for 20 seconds, scrubbing with soap and water, the tops, the bottoms, the in-betweens, and our thumbs, under our fingernails, on our wrists, just to make sure all of those germs go away. All right, well, let's see what this book is about. I almost forgot your activity during the book. During the book, when she is showing how to properly wash her hands, I want you guys to do it with her. So if she's showing how to scrub your hands with soap and water, I want you guys to pretend to do that same thing, okay? All right. Everyone in Mrs. Connor's class had a cold. Nick sneezed, achoo! Jamie coughed, <coughs> Emma blew, Honk. We have a lot of germs in our classroom, said Mrs. Connor. I do not see any germs, said Michael. Germs are too small to see, said Mrs. Connor, but germs are powerful, they can make you sick. I am sick of this cold said Nick. If I could see those germs, I'd beat them up. I know a good way to get rid of germs, said Mrs. Connor. Who would like to show me how to wash hands, she asked. I will, said Riza. He turned on the cold water and stuck his hands underneath. Done, he said. You forgot the soap, said Nia. She pumped out a little soap and rinsed her hands. Done, she said. You both did a good job, said Mrs. Connor, but not a good enough job to get rid of germs. The best way to get rid of germs, she said, is to sing. Sing, asked the class. Mrs. Connor said, roll up your sleeves, please. She turned on warm water and gave everyone some soap. Then Mrs. Connor sang, wash your hands with soap each time and remember this short rhyme. 
Let the water run real warm. Stop those germs from doing harm. Keep on washing, make it fun. Now you know just how it's done. That's the ABC song, said Becky. Now it is the wash hands song, said Jamie. The first graders sang the wash hands song every time they washed their hands. Soon, everybody got better. I told you I could beat those germs, said Nick. The end. That was a good book. It had some really, really good tips for how we can properly wash our hands, right? All right, well today I only have one question for you before I let you go. So my first and only question for you today is, why do you think Mrs. Connor wanted the children to wash their hands and to wash their hands the right way? Any guesses? Okay, yeah, so they had clean hands. Why else do you think maybe she wanted them to wash their hands? Yeah, the whole class had colds and she wanted to help them get those germs off of their hands, right? Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the book and I hope you have a wonderful week. This is our last book for the week, but I hope to see you again next year. See you then, bye. Okay, so for your healthy snack challenge today, I want you to Try and find a healthy finger food that you could eat. But of course, make sure to wash your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water before eating a finger food to make sure your germs on your hands don't transfer to your mouth. I just washed my hands with soap and water and now I'm gonna eat a grape.